Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 16 of the Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, subscribe, and drop me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Um, hope you're well. Um, okay, yeah, I mean, I guess this is the the sequel to the the one we had yesterday at Wrap the Guess. Um, if you're joining me today and you didn't watch the video yesterday, I do ask that you watch it. Um, it's the problem, it's easy. You might have done it. You might not have done it. I don't know. I mean, you might not have need help to doing it. It's fine. But I actually go a little bit about the thought process in both the problem solving in general and also how to use the videos and how to think about learning, right? So definitely go for that. Maybe I'll have to repeat it sometimes, but go. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the only reason why that video is long, right? Because it's uh, relatively a straightforward uh, thing to do. So... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, <geez. coughs> Um, My allergies is getting better, but I still have a little bit of a sore throat just because, you know, nasals drip and all these things. So anyway, so I'm coughing a bit. So my, my apologies and excuse me. But anyway, uh, yeah, let's look at, look at today's poem. We have 2901, which is, seems to be a, maybe a sequel to yesterday's. We'll see. You're given words, groups, both a raised length and hemming distance of two strings of the linked thing is the number of corresponding characters they equal. Select the longest subsequence of an array of indexes such that subsequence is denoted having length k where the following holds. Okay, so n elements, but k. Okay, well, let's see. Oh, okay, so. Mm, okay, fine. For adjacent indices in the subsequence, the, the corresponding groups are unequal. That means that, jeez, <coughs> excuse me. Also, I don't know why I coughed right in the mic, so my apologies. I meant to go the other way, but uh, I'm reading the poem. Okay, adjacent, adjacent indexes in a subsequence, the corresponding groups are unequal. Okay, that makes sense. That was the same as yesterday, right? Fair enough. I don't, uh, the, the part that I'm curious about is why is J plus 1 is less than K? I guess... Mm, okay, fine. Or, well, mm, I think this is just feels way awkward. Like, one of these should be at less than or equal to, but maybe not. Maybe this is J plus one. Okay, whatever. All right, uh, the equal length and Hemming's distance is one exactly. We turn the string away containing the words in order, and yeah, okay. So it seems like for this particular problem, Is there a K? Do they give you K? No, it's just get the longest, right? The longest K, okay, yeah. Sometimes I misread this, so yeah. Uh, okay. Mm, if I have to, well, let, let's take a look at constraints. Yeah, okay, that kind of modifies what I wanted to say, which is that if I have to guess, I mean, it's going to be tight, but if I had to guess, my, my initial idea was going to be quote-unquote n squared. And why does I say quote-unquote? Because you have n objects, but each of those objects is not length 1, right? Um, it's going to have a length 10, so if you want to build out the full graph, it's going to be n squared times L, which is going to be 10 million, right? 1,000 times 1,000 times 10. So 10 million, eh, it's on the borderline of what is acceptable. Maybe it's okay just because it is... The operations that you're doing the 10 million of is pretty fast, but I'll still have a little bit of worry. Anyway, in that case, then now it allow us to get um, uh, a graph, and then you can just do like a longest, um, what's it called? Longest path in a DAG kind of thing, right? Like now you could create a path where an edge exists between two words if groups are different and having distance is one, right? And when, once that is that, that's true, then you could draw draw an edge. And then now you're just doing the longest path in the DAG, which I think is pretty... Um, so once you kind of break that down in those components, I think that should be good. And each of those components are going to be fast enough, right? So the, the construction of the graph is going to be n squared in the worst case. I guess it's, I said a thousand times a thousand times 10. Um, but I guess it's technically a thousand times a thousand or technically a thousand times nine 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 over two. Um, 
usually it doesn't matter in a big O sense, but it matters because it just makes it now suddenly it is twice as fast and five million and five million is more reasonable, I suppose. Uh, that's to construct the graph and then the longest path in the DAG is a straightforward n square dynamic programming problem. Um, so each of those component holds and then I'm like, okay, well, that's fast enough. Let's go, right? Um, so yeah, without further ado, that's basically what I'm going to do, right? Like, in, you go to words, um, we have do, 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 right? for i in range of n, for j in range of uh, from i plus 1 to n, right? <coughs> I want to write it that way. I'm trying to think where I could combine them. I mean, you could create the DAG, right? Because um, what I said initially, I mean, I don't think it matters that much, but you can do both. So basically, we can construct, we could do it in two ways, right? We can construct construct an explicit graph and then one uh, n squared dp on the explicit graph, right? On, right? Uh, the, the other way that you could do it is construct an implicit graph, one dp as we're doing it, right? And of course, this is they're, they're both n squares, so it doesn't matter too much. But maybe it looks cooler if you kind of combine them, I suppose. Um, so we can write maybe this times uh, technically it's one, I suppose, but uh, times n, right? And here, this is saying that uh, is there an edge from i to j, and this is the case if group sub i is not equal to group sub j, then n, um, n uh, get diff, get delta, get diff, get hamming, get ham, <laughs> is equal to 1. Uh, or mm, The reason why I'm pausing is because he, uh, here is equal, we, we do it to equal to 1, but um, but if you do it this way, technically speaking, we want to be more least specific. It does not allow for early termination, which is why I'm like, eh, okay, actually, we want to be maybe we can write like is ham one right in theory. Then now, you, if you do a count like like if you write is ham one uh, index i index j right. So then now we have um, let's say l is equal to length of word sub zero because I think they're all the same length. If not, I have to fix it, but for uh, k in range of l if word sub i is not equal to word sub j right so count is equal to zero then increment right and then now if if we had it if we done it the other way then you could just do which is still true but here we can have an early termination so that if it's greater than one then we just return false right it doesn't it, it doesn't change the big old complexity but it just makes it slightly faster which <sighs> Usually you don't have to do it, but lead code it slowly and does a uh, sum of execution time thing, which I'm not going to go over today because I, I always get so annoyed. But yeah, anyway, so then there's an edge from I to J. That means that, or you could say J to I maybe, but now then we update J is equal to the max. Uh, or maybe we just write it as an if statement. If D pace of D J is less than D piece of I plus one, then D P of J <clears throat> is equal to db sub i plus 1. That's it. Um, yeah, and then now we just return max of dp and we should be good. Uh, but, oh, whoops. <laughs> okay, well, I lied apparently because I, I d forgotten about the form. So, okay, I mean, eh, at least we should double check that this is right, um, which it is not, right? Because, I mean, Okay, like obviously we don't even return to the same thing, the, the same type of things, so we're definitely wrong. But what I mean is that this should at least give me two, right? Um, this should give me the right answer. This is four is fine, but why is this wrong? Hmm. Um, it's one, yeah, right? Hmm. Two, 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 right? If this is greater, yeah. Why, why is this wrong? So let's take a look real quick. Um, though we do have to fix it. I forgot about the thing. Uh, so one one one. Okay, so that is Why it's wrong, but uh, groups of I is not equal to groups of J. Okay, right? So maybe we can print it out real quick. Is IJ is M one IJ, right? Oh, this is force four of them. Um, this should be exactly one, right? 
Oh, I'm just being dumb. <laughs> Whoopsie. Whoopsie daisies. Yeah. Okay. So now at least it's wrong, but it's wrong in, in the, the good way. Um, so that this matches that. Of course, we have to do a path reconstruction to kind of reconstruct the answer, which is not that bad to do, right? Because we have... Yeah, because if there are any answer, we can return any of them. So we don't really have to pay attention that much about fixing it. Right, so here we can do that, and in fact, and now we can, and path re reconstruction is sounds like a, a crazy thing, but you can kind of just go, okay, well, let's start from our best answer, and then we just go, okay, what leads to the best answer, and then kind of do that. I, I say recursively, but you don't have to implement it recursively. You go, okay, well, this is the best answer. What leads to this answer? Okay, is this other thing? This thing leads to the best answer. What is the node that leads to this node? And so forth, right? So you basically kind of do that. Um, and that should be good. Right, so here we go previous, oops, preview of J is equal to I. And that's it, <coughs> right? We have an answer. We probably have to, if we construct it at the, at the end, we have to update this. But uh, but yeah, maybe, mm, okay, yeah. Uh, we have to get, the, first we have to get the best answer, right? So best is equal to zero, right? So for I in range of N, if, well, maybe best I. So then uh, we can say, we can do this. So if dp sub i is greater than, oops, dp of best i, then we just update best i is equal to i, right? And then now we start with current is equal to best i. Um, and then while uh, current is um, not negative one, because negative one means that it doesn't have a parent. Maybe we have to write previous of current or something like that. Um, we can just write, okay, well, if the current string is not that, then answer that append, uh, what's it called? Words, words of best, uh, words of current. And then now current is equal to the, the, the previous thing that leads to it. And that should be okay. I think we have to reverse this because we add it from the end to the front. So, right. And that should be good, right? Maybe, hopefully. Yeah, it looks okay here. I have to remove the print statement, it seems like. Uh, where's my print statement? Oh, it's here. And that's, let's give it a quick submit. Oh, no. Are they not? Oh, I, I did say this, but I, huh. I, I guess I was just lazy, to be honest. I, I was too lazy to look at constraints. I thought all the word links are the same. That's kind of weird. Um, okay, I mean, it's it's easy to, to to change, right? But it's just kind of weird. Um, and here we can just write n length of word sub i is equal to length of word sub j, right? And that's it. And the reason why I want to put it here and stuff here is because then this saves us a function call, which is slightly slower, right? Um, hmm. I mean, I, I, eh, okay. Um, I, I feel a little bit bad because I even mentioned it out loud, right, to y'all. But I was just like, eh, I'm a little bit too lazy to look. Ooh. What? <clears throat> huh. What is going on? <laughs> but I was gonna say that I was too lazy to kind of check for the the length as you go to which, which is really sad, right? But here I don't know why we're wrong. We go DBD, do, 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 right? But why why is this connected to this? This is not. It has. If they're different, right? Okay, yeah. What, what is what? Ooh, uh. Now I'm a little confused, but we can unconfuse by debugging. Why is this true? Groups is different. That's fine. Length of word is different, and that's fine. But um, or length of the word is the same. That's fine. But then why is this? Hmm. I mean, it's it's. It, I'm not gonna lie, it makes me sad if I get this part of the code wrong, right? Because it's just like, how can that be wrong? Count is equal to one, it's greater than one, return force. Right? What? Why would that return true? I guess that re returns one, but I 
J K. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Uh, I I vote L here because I I assume that all the characters have the same length, but they don't anymore, right? Because I don't know. I mean, I just misread the poem, and I just got a little bit lazy on the fixing. Okay, so that is just I don't know. I am very silly boy today, but uh, but yeah. Once we kind of stopped making that assumption, and I just kind of fixed it really quickly because I just thought that this would be the fix, but I forgot that I made an assumption here. If I didn't, if I just didn't make that assumption, it would have been okay. Like last time, I already got in. The, I got in the first go, and I imagine the code is mostly the same. Yeah, mostly the same. Yeah, past Larry is better than current Larry. But in any case, yeah. What is the complexity here, right? Well, this is gonna be n square, right? This is uh, this is O of one. This is technically O of L. I mean, that's what we talked about, right? But uh, but this is O of n square. Um, yeah, this is O of n, this is O of n, and we have n squared times L is the final complexity. Uh, that's all I have for this one. I'm going to be... Oh, Oh, out of case. Alright. I'm just going to say goodbye. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Stay good. Stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Hope you love my silly music as well. But I, I don't know why. I was just rushing a little bit. Like we we I thought about it and I was just too lazy to follow up on it. Uh, I gotta stop doing that a little bit. But yeah, no, thanks for watching though. Stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.